Residents of a small Alberta community were told today they still cannot go home. Early Saturday morning, they were startled out of sleep by a train crash, a series of explosions, and an oil and gas fire. The train was heading from Edmonton to Vancouver when it derailed about 80 kilometers into the trip in the small community of Gainford, Alberta. Residents were told the fire would burn itself out, but nearly three days later, the flames are still being fueled. The CBC's Briar Stewart has the latest. Tonight, the aftermath of another explosion along the track, but this time deliberate. A burn designed to release all of the propane that's been fueling the fire since the CN train derailed early Saturday morning. And this wasn't the first try. Last night, crews attached an explosive to puncture the two burning cars, but that didn't work. We found that not all the cars had vented their propane. In the interest of safety, we withdrew. Throughout the day, the cars continued to burn as crews worked to figure out just what they should do next. This is the command centre for all of the crews working at the derailment site, and it's also just one of the many roads that are now blocked off in this area. More than 120 residents fled the community of Gainford when the train derailed. Now, nearly three days later, the anger is mounting. I'm right there. Like, why can't they let me in to feed my cattle? So, I don't know what to say. This morning, Natalie Cadwell got a call saying she could feed her cattle. Her herd is just on the other side of this roadblock. But when she got to the barricade, she wasn't allowed through. And now they're not letting me in. So, I'm getting frustrated to a point where I'm going to get in whether they let me in there or not. Some already have. And that's what has officials with the county worried. Uh, there have been some concerns of people trying to breach the roadblocks. We are trying to ensure but make sure that people understand what we're doing and why we're doing it. Tonight's explosion is an attempt to have the propane burn off faster. Officials say it's only after the fire is out that cars can be removed and people return. After that happens, the attention will shift to just what went wrong. Why did a train that was inspected before it left Edmonton on Friday derail on a track that was just inspected last week? Briar Stewart, CBC News near Gainford, Alberta.